The issue of malaria became important to me because growing up in Venezuela, although I never had malaria, I did have dengue, I've had Zika, and mosquito-borne illnesses in general were an everyday reality that we had to deal with. And particularly when I was in high school, there was a pretty devastating epidemic of chikungunya that just was decimating my community. Um, people were dying, people were being paralyzed, and it really didn't seem to reach the global news radar in any significant way. And I felt very disempowered at that time. I think many people did. So when I found myself in a position you know, being in the United States and having the ability to advocate for issues, I really wanted to utilize my privilege to um, to bring light, to shine a light on some of these overlooked issues that people deal with. I frequently meet with members of Congress or their staffers to discuss how they can support the fight to end malaria through specific, um, through specific programs like the President's Malaria Initiative and the Global Fund and also other initiatives within Congress. I also typically once a year go to Washington DC to meet with members of Congress on Capitol Hill through the United to Beat Malaria Leadership Summits. Being at the Keough School of Global Affairs I think really has nourished my desire to be an ethical practitioner of development and just an ethical member of my community and a citizen of the world and seeing the way that the people around me from my professors to my classmates, um, seeing the different ways that they accomplish that and that the fact that they also grapple with these difficult questions about development and global policy and you know our relationship to the world um, all of that has really enriched my own ability to be um, to be a practitioner and um, student of development studies.